Okay, so today what we're doing is we're checking out the last chills video. When things start being thrown around, you know you're dealing with a powerful poltergeist. You YouTuber Hu Kaya shares this footage of the paranormal in action. More objects move, and then a figure appears at a distance, watching. This could be real. That figure thing doesn't, unless it moves, it looks like it's just something in the distance. I could be wrong though. I don't know how this other stuff has been moved. The figure doesn't move from its spot, but nearby objects do. Oh no! I feel like that's just part of the wall, right? Some kind of pillar. It doesn't become any clearer what the figure is or what it wants. All I can tell is it's not happy with the human presence, and this human shouldn't take its discontent lightly. I'm pretty sh oh, I don't even know. I think that camera was flipped around then. The stuff moving was weird, but the way that it's filmed, that could have easily been somebody on the side of the camera doing it. But that... Can you please show me one scary video? Just one, please. If you break a leg, it's best to find another hospital because this one is cursed. YouTube team Paranormal Activity Ciuta explores the cursed hospital of Ciuta, and at first, they think they're seeing things. I swear I saw something peek from behind that door. Then the guys start hearing things. They decide to test the spirit's strength. Is the spirit messing with them, or are they suffering from paranoia in this cursed place? Was that the ghost doing the slam or them? It hasn't made that clear. I don't think this is paranoia. I think it's the real deal, but I could just be paranoid. Number 10, Haunted Mausoleum. YouTuber Grave Visitations says that what they saw in this mausoleum will haunt them forever. If you wish to be haunted too, take a look. It's not a coffin or a skeleton. That's a skeleton, is it? Full skeleton. Wow, it is, guys. Look at that. Just there to your left. That is incredibly creepy and is making my skin crawl. Oh my god! Wow! It's nice of him to go up to somebody's tomb thing mausoleum i mean i get that death can be intriguing to somebody but wow awesome dead bodies they look inside the other mausoleum blocks and find similar skeletal remains inside here similar look at that all bits of plastic and stuff who would have thought in mausoleums there was bodies who does that
Very, very old. I don't know if there's anything on the right, is there? There's more of those porcelain flowers. See them? One's upside down there on your oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks like a child-sized coffin to me. I'm gone. This YouTube channel's called Grave Visitations. Do they literally go around and just look at graves? What a strange hobby. I suppose it's no stranger than people like myself looking into the paranormal and the weird shit, so. Oh, I'm getting a pain. I think I've offended somebody. Oh, I'm not even joking. Oh, I've got a stitch, which I shouldn't have stitch because I've barely moved all day. They continue on and find not all doors are locked. The door is open. My torch just went nuts. Wow. The door is open in here, please. Look. Wow. As picks like the horse oh, of the is pipe. Although we'll all wind up as worm food, to me, that knowledge doesn't make this feel any less macabre. Macabre. What a lovely word. Are you superstitious? The YouTube team Ghost Hunters Adventures did a spirit box <laughs> session at Superstition Mountain. Ghost Hunters Adventures. I think somebody's trying to maximi maximize on two uh, popular ghost programs there. I'm going to be completely honest with you. My mind's gone blank. Bottom line is I'm losing interest in this video very fast. It's pretty long. There's been nothing scary. I'm getting a little bit bored now. And uh, my mind's kind of wandering. So there could be a lot of cutting around this section. What is moving the spirit box? Could it be the vibrations from the speaker? Aside from the obvious paranormal explanation. Yeah, maybe if there's a vibrating speaker next to it, and it, it only moves just a smidgen. That's probably the route you would go before you would say it was paranormal. Like, I don't understand how people just jump straight to paranormal. I have had paranormal. Like, okay, I've had questionable things happen to me. Naturally, the first thing you do is try and figure out what it was that caused it. If you're left with nothing, then it still doesn't necessarily mean it's paranormal. It just means it's got a higher chance that maybe it's paranormal, but at least you've ruled out everything else it possibly could be. So when you've got something like this next to a speaker that's vibrating and it moves just an ever so tiny amount, I don't understand why you would instantly jump to paranormal. Maybe I'm just wired differently. What lies deep in this derelict mine? YouTuber Paranormal Voyages dives in, and soon he hears something. That sounded like a growl to me. Then he hears footsteps. I didn't hear anything. I I, I I was actually quite hopeful for this one then. I thought, oh, maybe this one's going to be like thingy, but I, I didn't hear anything. I am slightly going daft, though, so it could be that. They're walking. As his flashlight runs out of batteries, this happens. No batteries. Oh, oh, no bull bullshit. What was that? That was a man. That did sound like a voice to me. It sounded like nothing to me. I've got headphones in and I still didn't hear anything. I heard like maybe what I didn't hear a man. I just heard shuffling and stuffs. What is down in this mine shaft with him? Is it human or is it humanoid? Like him, I wouldn't stick around to find out. Better to escape with your life, in my opinion. Redditor throw away. SHD HDFJ is investigating this dark and eerie tunnel, and his K2 meter is spiking off the charts. All right. Again, anything done here? Feel free to touch the light. Thank you. That's got to be a lot of something. 
going crazy here before. Although the Redditor is asking viewers if these K2 spikes could mean signs of paranormal intelligence, Redditors are hearing something else in the clip. Listen closely. He plugged in the light if you're there. Uh, thank you. Did you hear it? There's definitely a scream there. I did hear that one. That may have been a scream. I don't know where they are. Could have been from an outside source, if they're in a tunnel, what's at the other end of the tunnel? You know, sound carries in those kind of locations. But, I mean, yeah, there was a scream. Was it paranormal? I don't understand how some of these get ranked, you know. Like hearing a scream ranks higher than somebody being touched by a ghost in the dark and being ran upon. Then again, I don't think he does not ranked, does he? I think he just puts the AT together. While the Redditor believes the K2 was reacting to his cell phone, he has no explanation for the scream. I do think it could be paranormal. At midnight, YouTuber Connor of The Explorer returns and his crew head to this abandoned creepy hotel, frozen in time. And what begins as a joke ends in terror. The guys start running from their friend, Adam, in the hopes of jump scaring him. But they soon find it's not Adam chasing them. They play their joke and this is the result. But then the joke's on them. What was that? Oh, no, that's not okay. Now they're the ones hiding, and who knows what's seeking them. All the hiding, though. Oh, he is actually saying hide. I'll give you that, Chills. I thought you were uh, being over enthusiastic again. There's a ball going in here. Over the ball head. He's, yes, I'm open the door. I saw his head. They managed to escape, but not without a crazy story to tell. Through the door. We were hiding from him. What? He was following you. Did these guys just see security or something? Are they, are they even supposed to be in this building? Guys, take my cameras. Take my cameras. Oh, no, that's good. Enough, it? Was it a human person? Or as some are suggesting in the comments... Okay, so let me get this straight. They've just been in a building. They're doing some kind of ghost hunt. They're running around like a bunch of dickheads. Somebody catches when they're in the building, goes looking to see who's in the building, and now we're hiding from a ghost? And this is number five on 30 scary videos I almost can't show you. Oh, God, this is hard work. I've got five minutes left. Five clips, five minutes. I can do this. It's a spirit. I don't know what it was, but I wouldn't be playing hide and seek with it. Try not to scream in the screaming house. YouTube team Ouija Brothers enters the place with Raw. Hey, that's Paul. Who is it? Now watch Purple. He's uh, he's quite funny. I haven't actually seen this that he's done with Ouija Brothers. I've never actually watched Ouija Brothers. I do plan on starting to watch some par paranormal investigators i want to do the same as i've done for these chills videos but for paranormal investigators and ghost hunters and so on so um i'm refraining from watching a lot of stuff so that i can watch it for the first time um but yeah i have watched quite a bit of purple even if this isn't scary at least i feel like this is probably the only genuine clip that they've played in this bunch of videos sure. And at first, they don't hear screams, but only taps. But not long after, the taps are turning into louder bangs. The place is so eerie, 
Even the debunker is on edge. All right. The f is that? Is that you? Oh, did you just hear a noise? F is that you? Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You just. <laughs> you just. Mo they then hear the unmistakable sound of glass being disturbed or stepped on. And then just talk to me. Here it is from various cameras. And then just talk to me. See, this is how you do paranormal investigations. If you've got multiple cameras, show all the cameras so that you can see that there's no trickery, no faffing about. I dare say as well, if purple is there, like I said earlier, that logically you try and figure out what it is that could be causing the noise before you go to the paranormal. I'm pretty sure he debunked the hell out of everything before coming to any conclusion that is paranormal. I am on video 26 out of 30, and it takes seeing a recognized investigator that you know doesn't fake stuff to actually go, oh, okay, so there is a genuine clip on here because I was really starting to doubt it. It's not clear what that is, but to me, there are enough noises in this home to unsettle the bravest among us. Even if there's no audible screaming, I'm screaming on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> this house is so haunted that YouTuber Moxley's paranormal world was warned not to enter alone, but he did anyway. And this my uh, mother and lord always tells me I should watch Moxley's paranormal. I think I've seen one or two videos, but I will probably check him out at some point for the channel. I say mother and lord, my partner's mom. We're not actually married. Uh, she's always telling me to check him out. This is what happens. As he's exploring, he hears a male voice. He got similar stuff. Hello? But there appears to be no one there. Later, however, one viewer highlights a terrible snarl heard right after Moxley speaks. Listen closely. Top hat man. That's you, that's with me. That was your presence I felt a minute ago. I hear that too. As Moxley takes in the decaying place, something is heard behind him. Look at that. Look where it's come apart. That place looks wild dangerous. Not like, just like you could go in there and not come out through treading on a wrong floorboard. That's one hell of a hell for us that location is I don't really want to risk that on the own this is when I'd leave it's clear something evil is in this place and that's why you should always listen to the locals number two did I miss something? what's he on about listening to the locals? did I miss something? While passing the night in the world's most dangerous haunted house, YouTuber Ricky Velasquez quickly discovers why it has this reputation. <laughs> the wardrobe starts to shake, and soon so does Ricky. I don't know what else to tell you. The wardrobe shakes. You could have knocked it. Somebody could have been off screen and knocked it. Could have been real. I don't blame him. I'd be out of there too if this happened to me. This spirit just wants one last bubble bath. YouTuber Paranormal Activity shares this video of mysterious ghost antics captured on camera. A man returns home to find his bathtub water running, candles lit, and bubbles foaming. <laughs> this is what I come home to. Which 
Sure, maybe the dog did it, or maybe things are about to get a whole lot scarier. Did you, did you run the bath? Were you going to take it? A... Oh yeah, of course, it was the dog that run the bath. Although, I, I bet you can train a dog to do that. Don't know about the bubble bath part, but you could probably train a dog to turn taps on. I'd be super impressed if you could teach them how to light a lighter and light some candles without setting themselves on fire. That would be a truly amazing feat. What the f***? Pretty sure there was an edit there. No, I don't believe this canine is capable of all of this. But I do think this is a scary video I almost can't show you. Why? I'm starting to feel like that. What's it called? Double entendre where a sentence has two meanings? I think we read it as I almost can't show you to be like an intriguing word. But I, I think he actually meant I almost can't show you because they are shit. Bar one or two clips. I'm glad that I think I feel like originally I was gonna pick five videos for each creator that I watch the videos of. I am so glad I picked three. That was a lot. That's my three chills videos. If you want to see me react to more chills videos, put a comment down below with the videos you want me you want to recommend. Chances are I'm not coming back to Chills for a while because I want to move on to other YouTubers. Uh, start looking at YouTube creator, uh, sorry, paranormal investigators and ghost hunters and those kind of channels. Uh, more along the lines of real paranormal. I'm currently working on a few other videos as well. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. There'll be links below how you can tell me about your paranormal experiences.